Y'all need to stop. It is getting way, way out of hand. Uh, sorry, I'm plugging in my phone here. Um, every single day, I uh, almost every single day, the last couple I haven't been getting on because I've been moving and stuff. But every single time I get on PTCGO, I get on and check the trades. The public office. Because I want to know if the retarded people have stopped. And they haven't. I keep seeing people putting up Hey, I want a gold Solgaleo GX card. Offering one pack. Or two. Do you know how long it takes for people to get that? There are people that st have been opening this since Ultra Prism came out. And still don't have them. And you're going to insult them by asking for one or two packs for that hard-earned card. Now, I already got one. I got one by pooling it. I got another one by trading for it. I traded a decent amount of card or packs for it. Or, no, I traded cards for it. I don't remember what I traded, but it, I traded a lot for it. And it just needs to stop. There's literally people up the opposite side of the spectrum that will trade a Cynthia full art for a Gold Silgalio GX. Do you know how much people are actually requesting for a Cynthia card? There is a trade on there currently. I'm not sure if it, well, as of 10 minutes ago. Where Cynthia is going for 70 something, 80 something packs. That is 25 Ultra Prism, 20 Burning Shadows, 20 Sun and Moon, 10 Breakpoint, and 10 Breakthrough. I don't know my math, 25. 45, 65, so 85 packs. You need, you're going to ask for G, so Galio GX for one pack. No. You need to stop. You need to stop somewhere. Please, for the love of God, stop. When a card is on par or gets traded one-on-one. -on -one. It's Cynthia for a Solgaleo GX. One-on-one. -on -one with a card of such magnitude as Cynthia. You need to check your shit. Like, you don't need to be asking one pack for that goddamn card. And I, I see it every day. Every single day. Because up until the last two days, I was literally on every single day. Even on the days I don't record a video. This is why I'm recording this video. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing it. And it can start with you guys. I don't know if you guys do this. I know at least one of the people that watch my videos do, does not do this. Talking to you, Jess. That's only because you take my advice. And you know what? It pans out for you, doesn't it? If if you don't know who I'm talking about, guys, I've battled against him multiple times. It's Jess Grimm. Or on Instagram, Team Rocket Reject. Look him up. Ask him. Every single time. Oh. Except for one time. Every single time I tell him to offer such and such for a card, 
he gets that card. You know why? Because people respect good offers. You don't offer one pack for a gold card. You don't do that. It's dumb. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to reteach you how to trade. Or at least go over some guidelines. Like, GXs. Normal GXs, non like high end, this, this, this is a card that everybody wants, GX. Like, type of Lele. Tapu Lele is in a league of its own. It's in a league with Cynthia and Solgaleo and all of them cards and all that crap. They are in this top league here. We're talking about these guys down here. So like the Gumstruis GX. Two, two packs for G normal GX card. To f five. Packs. Two to five. For a full art, five to ten. Um, again, depending on the full art. Uh, maybe more than that, like Tabu Lele. Full art is worth, I think I saw it going for 60 the one time. Not too long ago. So, no respect to that. <laughs> Uh, hyper rares, <clears throat> again, depending. Like a Toxapex can be shoved in with the regular GXs. It's not worth much. Uh, nobody wants it. But like the Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele is 60 plus packs, 70 plus packs, hyper rare. Um, normal hyper rares, I'd go 15, 20, 25 packs. Um, or you, you can do, all of these you can do one-on-one -on -one trades with, of course. Like, you can trade, you, you have a Gumshoes GX, but you want a regular Solgaleo GX. Like a regular Art Solgaleo GX. Because the gold card isn't, it, it's worth more. So, you want a Solgaleo GX... Regular art, not hyper rare, full art, or gold card. You just want the normal GX. You can re one on one gum shoes for Sogalio. Do that all the time. I do it all the time. Happens way more than it, it way more than you think. And people respect it because it's a good trade. It's not a gold card for one pack. Don't do that. I'm going to repeat that 20 million times. Don't do that. Okay, so we got GXs, full arts, hyper rares, gold cards. Just trade them for Cynthia's. Or the equivalent of Cynthia. It's plain and simple. Go unclick the acceptable trades. Type in Sogalio GX or Cynthia or Tapu Lele Hyper. Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele Hyper Rare. Not the other two, because they're the Hyper Rare is on par with the other with Sogalio and Cynthia. Any of those. Unclick the acceptable trades. Look through there. Look what most people are asking. It will be in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. For Cynthia, it'll be 70s or 80s. Go in that range. Obviously, go as high as you can without breaking your card bank or your whatever. You know. Then they're the full art trainers. 
Cynthia, we've talked about multiple, a lot by now. <laughs> That's a league of its own. It's literally a card in a league of its own. It outranks everything, technically, but we can still trade it one-on-one -on -one for other cards. Um, most full art trainers are 15 to 20. I've seen some go for like five. But those were eh cards. Like a Wally full art. Who wants a Wally? I, I did at one point in time. It was dumb. I should have never gotten it. But be respectful when you're asking for these things. Uh, moving on to Secret Rares. They're about the same as Full Art Trainers. So, you know, you can one-on-one -on -one trade a Full Art Trainer and a Secret Rare or something like that. Uh, Wishful Ton is a little bit more up there because it's higher. It, you, people want it more. I know I run two of them. I should run like four, but that's beside the point. Um, I'm sure there's other ones that people run a lot, but I don't get into the trainers much. Or the, the items and stuff. I just get into what I want, and I get that. Um, so I'd say 10 to 20, depending on the trainer, or the card. All, all, all depends, really, on the card, mainly. But if you know it's a competitive card, make it a competitive request. Like I've said, Cynthia is a competitive card. It has a very, very, very competitive request. Tapu Lele, competitive card. Everybody runs it in their decks for some reason. It's competitively, it has what you need in it for a trade. Okay, what else is there? There's GX. Full Art GX, Hyper Rare, Gold Card, Full Art Trainer, Secret Rare. That's about it. Okay. I have to clarify this. Just because I say GX does not exclude EX. GX and EX are equivalent. EXs are not worth less or more than GXs unless it's the card itself. Like a Charizard EX is actually worth a decent amount. A full art Mega Charizard EX is worth a decent amount. <laughs> I know I traded one away. I think. I might have just given that to a friend. Either way. I still... Traded away. <laughs> These, most of them, you need to know competitive way. Look up, if you have a card that you're like, hey, this seems like it'd be good in a deck. Look it up online. Look it up on, on Google. Look up how competitive it is. Look how many decks it, it's run in. And base your trade on that aspect if it's a deck that's running 15 to 20 major or if it's a card like Tapu Lele that's run into freaking every major deck there is trade it based on that if it's a card that's running running like two non winning decks you just trade it like a normal GX or EX or whatever it is. Sycamore. That's a pain in the ass to get. I had to get two Sycamores and it was such a pain in the ass. I didn't. I got one Sycamore and had to get it the other like two weeks later. I just got that like two days ago. Uh, which you will be seeing my brand new shiny deck. 
on Friday. So check that out. Be sure to subscribe. Click the bell icon. I know I'm in a rant video right now. But still, I'd lo love to see you guys subscribe. I want to hit the 100 mark so I can do a giveaway for you guys. I just went off my rant. Great. I'm not going to get traction again. Anyway. Th this is the end of it. As a video anyway. Uh, yeah. Subscribe for less rant videos, please. <laughs> Uh, this is the only rant video I've done so far, and I don't like doing rant videos. I don't like the feeling I have right now, because these trades actually piss me off. But, uh, I needed to say something. So, subscribe for content like last week. <laughs> Go check out last week's videos. <laughs> and that's that's the content I'd make. Uh, Mondays are usually PTCGO tutorials. However, today is a rant video. Tuesday and Thursday are guaranteed openings. Wednesday is my free day to do whatever the fuck I want. Us right now it's openings. Here soon I will be doing more top video uh, list videos and I will also be doing uh, a new talk show where I talk to other Pokemon YouTubers about their experiences and what got them into it and all that good stuff and I'm labeling it trainer talk so when you see that name check it out be sure to lo leave likes on that Leave likes on this, too. I mean, I know it's a rant video, but, I mean, you can still leave a like. You can comment if you're one of those people, or you can comment how much you hate these people that do this stuff. You can subscribe if you hate me to see how many more rant videos I do, so you can leave a dislike on all of them. You can also subscribe if you like me to see more rant videos to leave a like on them because I'm awesome I think I have 85 subscribers so 85 people think I was worth subscribing to I had 87 I, I, yeah I think I pissed people off <laughs> anyway this might piss people off oh well it's my channel so uh, like, comment, subscribe, and that's the end of the video. My name is Megasol Impario, and you guys say the very best.